Hello War of the Visions newbies, this is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about slow building limited event heroes as a new free-to-play gamer in War of the Visions. I wasn't going to do a video on this, but by pure luck, Joom the Spring Celestial just landed on my lap from her free initial 10 poll. This is on my spanking new free-to-play account. So I figured, why not? Let's see how hard it is for a beginner F2P player to max out a brand new limited event unit. As a reminder, we need 600 shards to get her to level 99, 400 shards to EX 120 her, then another 120 shards to EX 140 her. Please note, this is free to play, so I'll be ignoring all of the paid places to buy her shards. Let's first talk about getting shards from Chocobo Expeditions as a new player. Event heroes will always be the highest bonus drop unit, so we'll just add Joom to the team here. Since she's a water unit, let's check if her shards are available in the water area, Swirling Depths. They are, so we'll set that. You technically can get a couple of shards per day here, but you need to be active to do it as a F2P player since you can't expand the chocobo storage like spenders can. If you keep using some expedition tickets, you may get lucky and get a shard here and there. Be sure to turn off the chocobo animation in your settings, or else you'll be here all day. Remember, Joom is limited, so she'll only show up in the swirling depths while her event is active, then she'll disappear. Some people will say that you need to proc Chocobo Fever before using expedition tickets, but that's not entirely true. The only thing Fever does is give you the same bonus as having the top bonus hero on the team, nothing more. Since Joom is already on this team and she's a top tier bonus unit, Fever makes no difference. This may be different in week two of her event, so please check unit bonuses regularly. Let's count this as two shards per day over her two week event. That's doable. Next is her shop. Let's ignore all the pay stuff and down here you get 80 shards for Gil and another 120 shards for 6k viz. 6,000 viz is expensive, but this is a must buy if you want any hope of maxing out this unit. Next is the Mog shop. Joom is limited so you can't get her shards for login medals, but if you go to her summon shop, you can see that you get some currency from pulling on her banners. I only did the free 10 pull but you also get a zero viz single pull every day from her shop, which essentially translates to 14 shards worth of Mog currency. That's 24 shards over her event, but this is literally the bare minimum number of shards you can get from here. If you did any kind of viz pulling on her banners, you'll be able to get a bunch more. Okay, now scroll down to Soul Stars. Depending on how far along your account is, you should be able to get 100 shards from here. You get soul stars for pulling units you already own. As a new account, this is slim pickings. I was only able to get 47 shards, but I feel like I can pull off the 100 shards here by the end of Joom's two-week event. You just want to stop getting shards here as soon as the cost gets to 10. Just a small note, Joom will disappear from this shop as soon as you have enough shards to get her to level 99, so it's always better to grab these shards sooner than later. Okay, this is all the shards we can get at the moment, so let's limit break and awaken her to unlock her character quest. Level up her jobs and give her EXP cubes and we'll be good to go. Here it is. Put her on your team and that's an easy 15 shards. Now we'll find her hard quest. Go to story, hard quest list. Let's look around and see if we can find her. Here she is about halfway down Southern Lions Valley. Let's bookmark her hard quest so we can easily farm it every day. You'll see her quest doesn't have a checkbox like the other ones do. We just need to clear it once and then it will be selectable. Make sure you bring a chainer. The initial clear reward on her hard quest is five of her shards. Plus, there's an awesome 4X hard quest buff going on right now. So instead of one shard for each clear, we get four. You can clear the hard quest twice per day. I feel weird counting this 4x event because future viewers may not have this buff, and then this video could be unrelatable, so let's just count this as the default one shard per run. So you'll typically get 5 shards from the initial clear, and then 28 from daily hard quest farming, before her event ends and this quest disappears. Okay, bingo board time. Again, only while her event is active she will have a bingo board, but it's easy to clear, you can do it the first day just like I did. 
Mopping this up nets you another 120 shards. Next are login rewards. For most new units, you will get 40 shards from login rewards during the first week of their event. Finally, let's cover guild barracks. I believe all new units now get double shards from the guild barracks for while their event is active. You can see I added Joom here along with Dark Fina and Joom will get a shard every six hours while Dark Fina gets a shard every 12 hours. This means as long as your barracks stays full of food, you should get four shards per day for two weeks. Let's jot that down. Adding this up is just a tad over 600 shards, just enough to level her to 99. As I mentioned at the beginning, I still need another 520 shards to unlock her EX 140. Well, the only daily farm you can continue after her event is over is collecting two shards per day from the guild barracks. Let me do some math here. Carry the one. Okay, if you keep Joom in the guild barracks for about 38 weeks, you will be the happy owner of an EX 140 Joom. Yes, you heard me right, that's 38 weeks. That's over nine months. Now you know why new F2P players never stick with this game. Let's talk about a few options to speed this up. If you're a grizzled veteran, you would have accumulated a bunch of soul medals. These are different than soul stars. And you can probably scoop up another 200 mind spheres here. You get soul medals by acquiring shards for characters above level 99. So this is definitely not a beginner friendly shop. What can new players do? There's the gill summons, which do have Joom shards but the rates on cost 100 units are really slim. A viewer named Chris Porto 6716 just did this and got one Joom shard for a billion gil, so I'm not sure if the value is there for new players. What else? You can always spend viz like crazy. A new F2P player at Royal Rank 2 can refresh the main shop 10 times per day and buy 10 shards for 500 viz each time. That's around 100 shards per day for 5,000 viz. Doing this to buy the remaining 520 shards will cost you 26,000 viz. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.